All right, uh, doing another video today. Uh, this is about the seatbelt system uh, in our uh, decathlon. It's actually identical to our extra uh, as well. But uh, we use the Hooker five point harness. Um, there's always on the this system, there's always the label. And believe it or not, that's always on the left shoulder harness, if anybody was ever confused. A little trivia. So we've got our shoulder harnesses. Uh, we've got our center strap coming up. And we have a, a front belt, okay, and then we have a secondary uh, back belt, which is included uh, with a ratcheting system. The front belt is only through a uh, kind of a standard slip, um, slip buckle uh, on both sides, left and right, uh, with a slip buckle in order to take out most of the slack. The hooker system uh, uses a, um, a boomer or a lever it is held in these little detents here in the closed position the hook is what grabs the tab on the opposite side and our auxiliary belts the center strap and the over the shoulder uh, uh, straps um, as they are augmented belts they slip onto that uh, the blade as such these are very, as I held in the uh, detent for the full locked position. To egress, you would simply lift up. The thing that you have to remember is even if you would accidentally lift, uh, lift out of the detent, uh, one of your belts, uh, it, the hook is still captured into the little bayonet that's going through there okay so it's still secure you have to lift the bay the uh, little boomer the little lever quite a ways before it releases almost completely open before it releases and that's another safety feature even if they're slightly open or not completely latched in the detent like that you will have security with your seatbelt and you won't get uh, uh, you won't uh, fall out of your seat and go th through the uh, the overhead canopy when you're flying inverted. So that's the general uh, uh, overview of the uh, seatbelt system. The ratchet mechanism uh, on this one is um, a, a pretty much a standard ratcheting. We've got a little black uh, handle here and we've got this little gate uh, with a little lip. You can pinch these two together and fold this ratchet all the way open um, into um, what appears to be um, that fashion and that allows for the belts to unwind okay that releases the ratchet so in this position to get it to start to be a ratchet you pinch the two gates together fold it away and now it is in the ratcheting mode Okay. So, pinch the two gates to get it wide open, puts it into freewheeling or release. And pinch the two gates, fold it down, gets it into the ratcheting system. Okay. Most people seem to rely on the ratchet exclusively to hold themselves in their, their seat. And they don't put enough emphasis on these front belts. Uh, I've noticed with uh, inverted uh, work, inverted flight, inverted um, uh, maneuvers, aerobatic maneuvers, that if you properly tension these front belts uh, into the thigh muscle, it really greatly helps uh, your security, your ability for leverage, and uh, the comfort of dividing your weight or spreading the weight of your body, particularly under more than one negative G, it distributes that weight more uh, over more air surface area and it's much more comfortable. So don't uh, just assume that these front belts are just there in case the ratchet fails or in case this, uh, this belt, uh, this back belt uh, should fail. There's actually a lot of, uh, a lot of use and, uh, out of this, uh, this front belt if you properly tension it. So get these front two belts on the right and on the left as tight as you can get them uh, by uh, forcing it down into your uh, thigh uh, muscle and uh, with one hand and raising it uh, and taking the uh, 
the uh, tension or the uh, slack out of it through the uh, slip buckle here. So that is um, uh, just a footnote to uh, the proper use of of the um, of the front belt. The shoulder harnesses are absolutely not intended to hold you in your seat, uh, even on inverted work. That is all done from the hip belts, from the hip bones and your thighs. These over the shoulder belts are simply to keep you from hitting the panel should you experience sudden stoppage. So you don't want these flopping around Oh, falling off of your shoulder, a couple of things. There, it's annoying to have that so loose that they fall off your shoulders. Secondly, they can actually slide over, and then when they come back, they can uh, ding you into your into your neck or into the, your chin. So you want these just uh, tensioned properly, not to hold you in the seat. You need to have freedom of movement, but you don't want them to be so tight um, uh, that they uh, that they. Uh, crush your uh, your collarbones when you when you do roll inverted you need these a little bit loose all right well be sure to check out some of our other videos on the decathlon and the extra here at uh, the Patty Wagstaff Aerobatic School thanks for viewing